Are you a YouTuber who's always struggling to make thumbnails for your YouTube video or ever wonder why your one video is doing so well and the other video on the same channel with the same number of subscribers is not getting any views? Should your thumbnail be catchy or aesthetic or you are just a beginner in content creation and just want to know how to make professional looking thumbnail then this video is for you. Hi guys welcome back to the channel if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing and if you like this video do not forget to hit on the like button. So I have segregated this entire video in three parts. Part one is why some of your videos get more views and other videos of yours get less views. Part two is how to decide whether you should create catchy thumbnails or aesthetically pleasing thumbnails. Part three is all about how to create thumbnails for free for your YouTube channel. So if you are not interested in part 1 and 2 you can directly skip to part 3 but I believe part 1 and 2 is very important for your content creation journey so I will suggest you not to skip it. So for part 1 let's try to understand human behavior first. Even when we were kids we did not like reading books but we would still okay or we would still enjoy reading comics or books that have a lot of pictures in it. It is because human brain actually processes images 60,000 times than text and 90% of the information that is transmitted to the brain is visual. And that is why YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime or any other OTT platform has good amount of thumbnails on their library. If this was not true then I don't think that YouTube will give you an option to put thumbnails on it otherwise they would have just given base for black boxes with big font and just write the movie name rather than creating an entire poster. Visual effects are very important for us to understand or to give us an instant hit that what we want to watch. All the streaming platform uses thumbnail like these so that the chances of us clicking on that video increases. And then the second part is all about whether to create catchy thumbnails or aesthetic thumbnails. And the answer is not that simple guys. First let's take an example of my vlogging channel. Guys even before creating a thumbnail you need to understand what kind of audience you have. What is your niche? For vlogging channel I would recommend to create catchy thumbnails only then people will be intrigued to watch that video. Let's take this video for an example. This has so much of views and this picture of ours is actually saying something about the story and that's why people feel like to click on it. So catchy or clicky thumbnails are very important for lifestyle channel. People are not looking for documentaries. They are not looking for perfections. Your vlogs, your lifestyles are full with imperfections guys and that's what they want. People want to see that relatable feel on a thumbnail and that's why they like a YouTuber. If they would want to see a perfect picture then they would prefer to see a documentary or a travel series but in daily vlogging I would say clicky or catchy thumbnails have the upper edge. If you are a travel YouTuber or you are planning to start your travel channel then aesthetic is the way to go. Again you will have to understand your audience. Why is that person watching your travel series? Why is that person interested in your travel vlogs? The reason might be if they are interested in your life or secondly if you are strictly a travel vlogger they want to see where they can go next for their vacation and that's why it is very important for you to capture the entire essence of the scenery so that you can post it and then people feel like oh my god that's a beautiful picture. I want to see what's in the video. Now let's talk about other niches like pranks. Prank videos are generally clicky. They try to depict a story and then you feel like what's gonna happen next. For example gold digger videos, prank on wife, prank on friends. Those are clicky videos. You feel like clicking on them. They want to have that clicky thumbnail because their niche prefers that. If you have a channel that talks about food all the time then aesthetic is the way to go. Even if the taste of the dish is exactly same you will still want to pick a dish that's better looking that's aesthetically more pleasing. I'm gonna quickly shoot some more examples so that you understand what I'm talking about. For example shopping videos. Shopping videos can be clicky or aesthetic. Aesthetically if you show a Zara haul and you're looking very beautiful and you have clicked a picture. Otherwise, you're still doing a Zara haul but you write a question over there. Will this dress suit me or will this dress fit me? Shopping is one of the niches that works both ways. But real estate, education, kids, this is the niche that you need to be more aesthetically pleasing. Imagine would you want to see a house that is bad in shape, is not looking well, it's not taken care of or you would want to see a big fancy mansion when you're watching a YouTube video or a nice condo with has good interiors in it. Before planning that how you're going to create a thumbnail, you need to ask yourself a question, a simple question. Who is your niche? What kind of video you are making? and then select whether you want to go for a clicky one or aesthetic feel. And please, please, please do not confuse yourself that aesthetic thumbnails cannot be clicky or clicky thumbnails cannot be aesthetically pleasing. I'm assuming you are a beginner right now. So creating best of both worlds will be a little difficult for you as of now. So it's easier for you to pick one. So now let's finally learn that how to create thumbnails for free. You will only learn while you are experimenting on the things. You will not learn by just watching this video. You have to improve your skill by just doing it again and again. And to have 
have in-depth tutorial about Canva, you can tell me in the comments. So just type canva.com and this is the website that I'm talking about. This is absolutely free. I'm going to share few thumbnails with you so that you have an idea how I create my thumbnails. And guys, the biggest mistake that I have been doing and I think this is a very common mistake that a lot of other YouTubers also have been doing. So I used to spend around 8 to 10 hours for editing a single YouTube video. And after that much of editing, I was always in a hurry to post this video because I could not control my excitement. And in that excitement, I used to do such a blunder. You're going to put so much of your energy in editing the video and then you're going to choose a normal thumbnail or a thumbnail that is not clicky or aesthetically pleasing guys do not do that thumbnails are more important problem happens when we are putting so much of effort in editing but we forget why will a person click on it the reason is thumbnail so if you spend six hours seven hours in editing a video spend 10 hours while deciding what to put it as a thumbnail because that is gonna give you the views a viewer hasn't watched your video so that person doesn't know that if that video is good or bad but that person can see your thumbnail so make sure you put 100% of your effort in making a thumbnail thumbnail options so you don't even have to worry what size or what dimensions I need to have so just click on thumbnail the page will pop up like this and the best part for beginners I believe is that they have so many already designed templates for you guys that you can pick for example I'll just show you to you right now if you go to my YouTube studio so this is my YouTube video and just look at this video right how to create a YouTube channel I have literally used Canva and replaced my image with this girl so guys this is that simple you can put any image for example just assume that this is me and I can place it like that this is just an example you can put your own images how to remove background i'm also gonna tell you so, so there are multiple ways to remove background from the images the easiest one right now is just type remove background and just go to this link i'm gonna put this link in the description as well and drop a file for example let's just take boy talking this is for just an example let's just say this is your image and i'm gonna like select it and paste it i'm gonna drop this image here just to give you an example how easy it is to remove a background see the background has been removed and if there is any other issue if you want to like get into perfection then you can pick up a eraser scale it down and this will also remove it see even that's gone so this is this simple to remove any background from your images and you can download it also and it is free of cost so right now i'm designing this video thumbnail so how to make thumbnails easy and free i can remove this picture i can do anything and i have designed this video thumbnail just by using canva guys and within minutes absolutely free of cost you can just click on share download and just jpg file it's gonna download you can use it on your video it is this simple guys if you are a daily vlogger or a lifestyle vlogger you want essence to be captured from your own vlog then i'm also going to show you an example for that so let's just take example of this me and my wife my wife says or i am saying aaj se sari parties band means i am not going to party from now and my wife said aya maza like did you enjoy I had fun in sarcasm this is the entire conversation this is a comic way guys this is a very old school method to show a conversation on the thumbnail so that people would want to know that what happened next what is fianchu's reply and what is kirit's reply and this is my favorite way of creating a thumbnail a conversational one a comic one where somebody is saying and the dialogue can be seen and then somebody is replying to it you can choose any other way guys that's not a big deal just make sure that people would want to click on it i hope now you understand what you have to do if you want to create a thumbnail for your youtube videos and guys never forget understand your audience that's very important that's the trick if you have learned something from this video do not forget to hit on the like button you can also subscribe to the channel if you like what Watching such videos and click on the bell icon so that you get an update whenever I post a video. If you have any question regarding content creation, guys, do not forget to leave a comment. I promise I'm gonna reply to your comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Fianchu Sharma.